Okay, everybody, so today we're going to be doing a video on the Argentine 1891 Mauser, or the uh, M91, if you want to call it that. Uh, and this Mauser was uh, Argentina's first smokeless rifle, and the uh, history of it starts out with uh, Argentina was wanting to buy in the late 1880s a uh, the... Mauser 7184 rifle, which was a tube-fed black powder rifle, but by that point, smokeless powder had been made, and nobody wanted to uh, basically tool up to make a black powder gun, and uh, they decided they need to look for some other rifle to use instead of a 7184, and uh, while they were looking, they uh, found the Belgian 1889 Mauser, and uh, decided to adopt that, but it had some changes to it. Uh, so the main change is there's no barrel jacket on this one, and they adopted it in 1891, and uh, uh, ordered it from uh, Ludwig Lowe in uh, Germany, and uh, they would use this rifle until uh, 1909 when they replaced it with the 1909 Mauser and uh, yeah so let's get into looking at some of the features of it so this is an early pattern Mauser which means the bolt on it uh, does not have a full extractor meaning it doesn't have controlled feed it's also cock on clothes uh, instead of the later cock on open the safety does not have a disassembly position. If you put it up in the middle, it just locks the bolt. It's just a two-position safety. And uh, it has a clip guide that doesn't have notches in it, which we don't have one of the original clips because they're hard to find. But uh, basically, the original clip was flat, and it would just kind of had this tension on it, and that's what would hold it in place instead of notches on it. Uh... And the sights on this, I believe this is a 300 meter zero for when it's flipped down. And then when you flip it up, it goes from 500 up to 2,000 meters. It's chambered in 765 Argentine is what this round is known as now. But what it really w would be is 765 Belgian because they were the first to adopt it. But uh, 765 by 53 Argentine has a single stack magazine instead of the later double stacks and uh, over here at the front it has a steel tipped cleaning rod which this gun is all matching including the cleaning rod and uh, on our example somebody has painted the back of the sight uh, it would just be glued on it but ours has been painted we need to get that off at some point has a half length hand guard it's underslung, uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the features of it. And uh, it also has had the crisp ground on it that would originally be there. Uh, Argentina decided that they didn't want their crests being on rifles that they had surplus, so they decided to ground, grind them off. So most you'll find now won't have any crests on them. And, uh, yeah, this one is in exceptionally nice condition. It's, uh, nice enough to be in a museum, almost. Uh, yeah, but, uh, that's pretty much all I can say about it. They would be used until they were replaced like the by the 1909 Mauser. And this one would have been made in, uh, 1897 or early 1898. And, uh, yeah, there's not too much else I can say about it, so let's get into shooting some. All right, we're gonna start out with five rounds down at 100 yards. The ammo we're using is a PPU rifle line, 174 grain full metal jacket. Stripper clip fed fairly well.
That's all five of them. Let's go check out the target. All right, this is our first group. We got three on the plate, uh, two just off the plate. Seems to be shooting just slightly high, but that's pretty good with a 300 meter zero. All right, we're gonna let up another couple of rounds. So far, this is a really nice shooting gun. We've got a feeding issue with this last round. Seems to be hitting the feed ramp but not wanting to go up. Well, we'll get back to you when we get that fixed. Alright, this is our next group. We got none of them hit the plate, but we got one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, these are all pretty good group, just this one's slightly far off, but a pretty good group. Alright, we're going to load up another five rounds. Now, I think the issue was this. Uh, with the last one, how this screw wasn't uh, in the way it was supposed to be to keep the magazine in, and the front was a little bit loose. So hopefully it should be fine now. All right, this is our next group. I messed this one up, but other than that, it's a pretty good group. All right, we're gonna do another five rounds. Yeah, this clip guide is uh, definitely not the best, which we aren't using the original stripper clips for it so that could be part of the problem but those notches holding your clip in place really help on the later mousers
I got a, another feed issue. That got her done. That's all of them. Alright, this is our next group. We got two on the plate and three off the plate. Uh, pretty de decent groups out of this rifle. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for the video. We had a lot of fun with the Argentine 1891 Mauser. Uh, this is a very nice rifle and uh, this particular one is in excellent condition. Uh, we look forward to making some hand loads for this in the future and seeing how well it can shoot with some you know uh, better loads and we can get it hitting dead on target so let us know if you want to see any more videos with the Argentine 1891 and uh, until then we'll catch you in the next one